Welcome back. So over the weekend I was working on a few things in the CAD and so one of the things here is um, I've added a what's going to be a stainless steel uh, plate a ground plane there for the GPS antenna that was um, somebody's suggestion to do that so I'm happy to do that. I think it'll make um, that GPS antenna work better. And then uh, the next thing I did was you see I've gone and put the CAD models in for the pressurization um, outflow valves here and um, we were lucky enough from Enviro to actually get the CAD model so I could um, put them in here and, and uh, took me a little while to figure out the best way to orient them because you know you can rotate them sort of steps of 60 degrees there because um, we already had the holes drilled for them in the back there anyway so I've got all the different uh, uh, tubes there running so there's a 5 sixteenths of an inch um, sort of polyflow tubing between them so I've got all that done and the next thing I've um, been working on is this um, the trim um, control actuator for uh, the elevator and how it works on the Canard aircraft of most of them you have your uh, torque tube there that's highlighted for the elevator and then attached to that um, you have this um, spring that's made out of uh, fiberglass and it allows sort of uh, flex and then you have an actuator here just an electric actuator um, with a motor there and we're going to actually use one that has a six inch throw or, or uh, travel on it and I still have to put a mounting bracket at the back there but basically that's sort of work in progress and I uh, still have to mark, uh, get Mark to run some CAD on that just to see what the layup will look like. Anyway moving on so uh, starting out the week I uh, started cutting um, the tubes here for the side sticks because uh, starting to you know put together the different pieces that make up um, some more of the flight controls obviously Jeff's done quite a lot already with the flight controls with respect to the pulleys and all that all the brackets and stuff that hold those um, but uh, it was time to start working on the next step so these side sticks basically uh, just sort of a long stick there at a 4130 and um, just with an angle sort of cut at the bottom there and then it ultimately turns 90 degrees and there's two of them obviously and then this is a bracket uh, that I've cut up here and that's going to hold uh, be the sort of end point for the uh, retraction cylinder for the nose gear that needs to be uh, welded up now and Jeff's been busy with um, progressing getting the aircraft up on the gear so here you can see uh, the wheels and brakes are on the main gear the legs aren't fully extended there yet, so it's still sitting mostly in the jig there. Uh, but anyway, coming along. And Jeff also got both of these upper uh, four plane plugs um, in their second round of primer there, so they just need to get their guide coat put on there and, and um, their final round of sanding and then ultimately waxing. It'll be time to pull the molds for those two. And uh, Zach's been working on these ones. These are the brackets again, or the molds for the brackets that hold the side sticks, or actually the plugs, I should say. We're going to have no, actually, they're, they're going to be direct to mold. So we'll just be draping the material over that to create those parts. And uh, I drilled the holes in here on these seat mounts um, to bolt the seat rails to that. So and that was today. So tomorrow um, I'll be bolting the seat rails to that and we'll be sitting those um, brackets into the fuselage. And see Jeff's adding on this little extension bit there to that mounting bracket there that holds the end of the gas strut, which um, is job to push the gear down um, and make sure it locks into place. And I went over to Brits this afternoon again um, to get him to weld up these different bits and pieces. So here you can see he's welding up uh, the side sticks. And you see he's, he's doing the finish welding already there on those. Uh, so he's already mostly done one and he's working on the other one there. And uh, now he's working on that little bracket that I showed you before, the one that holds uh, the nose gear um, retraction cylinder. So he's just welding that one up. And there's another one there that you can sort of see in the front there, which I'll show you. Yeah, this is the one he's working on now. So this is another a cross bracket that goes um, in between the um, braces that hold the nose gear um, retraction bracket arms and you'll see it in a little bit I'll show you what it does but basically it's the other end that holds the gas strut and it also um, beefs up those braces which you'll see in a little bit that's it there uh, all finished off and so we just basically uh, cut the materials for that today and then there's the other one all welded up now um, and you know ultimately those will go to powder coat and so they look nice and uh, when I got back to the shop after that, the guys have finished um, laying up this I think Devin was working on this one or Devin or Zach I'm not sure um, created the mold for this and that's that add-on for the firewall and you see Zach's getting pretty close now these are already in the second coat of primer I believe 
um, getting pretty close to having those ready to wax up um, so we can create those side stick brackets. And here's the side stick there, and it's not fully inserted into the end there, but that's basically how it looks. And then there, the wires come out the end there for all the different buttons that are on there that control that. So uh, that's kind of how it's going to sit. Like I said, it's still going to go in a little bit further in there. It's just a little bit tight. I've got to just uh, clean out the end of that uh, tube. So Jeff's pretty much got most of the main gear stuff sorted out with respect to the retraction. So now he's working on the nose gear. And so there's that bracket that um, Britt just welded up. And so you see it goes between uh, these two carbon fiber bra um, braces there and sort of supports those, but at the same time is used for the gas strut uh, that pushes the nose gear down. So as you can see here, everything's sort of coming together and that's how the retraction works there. So that um, bracket that Britt just welded up this one here, that'll uh, be bolted there to the forward bulkhead and then one end of the hydraulic cylinder will be attached to that once we drill the holes in the end of that and the other end goes onto this arm so that's how when that um, hydraulic cylinder expands it, it retracts the gear and then the gas strut hooks from there over to here and that will always be trying to push the gear down so it'll lock in place. Anyway, so as you can see, um, the main gear is locked in place now and uh, she's standing uh, pretty tall now. <laughs> so wait till you see in a second here and I'll show you. Um, everybody had already left the shop because um, it was you know after six o'clock when I got there, or right on six, when I got back from Brits. And uh, as you can see, panel's in there now. It was sort of in there the other day a little bit, but I've got it positioned better. And this is just to give you some sort of reference of the height here. So it's the, the top of that is actually above my head by several inches. Um, and so they can see where the door seal is there. So it actually feels much larger now even because it's sitting uh, so high and that's pretty much where it's gonna be um, when the nose gear is in place, but it's just a big block of foam underneath the bottom of it there right now. Um, but we're looking pretty good for um, having it actually standing on all three legs by the end of the week. So anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week. So thanks again for watching.